Jesse Kelly joins us tonight. Jesse, thanks very much for coming on. Um, so th they are coming. It's not just Alex Jones. Let's you know. Let's let's not lie to ourselves. But I wonder if the Republican office holders who are standing by and allowing this stuff to go completely unchallenged, completely unchallenged, understand that they're not going to get reelected if you don't have freedom of speech in this country. It will be impossible for them to win the next election. Do they get that? They don't get that. And in fact, they're complicit in it. Their silence makes them complicit in it, Tucker, because the social media companies are banking on weak spined Republican politicians standing by and doing nothing as they pick off all what they think are the weak members of the herd. And that's all this is. Exactly. They're just clipping out the outside members of the herd while they surround it and get ready to eat us all. That is exactly. I mean, what will it take? Will it take? I mean, what's 2020 going to look like? if people are not allowed to express views that Mark Zuckerberg doesn't agree with. Seriously. It's going to take politicians losing their job. And frankly, it yeah. should take media people losing their job. What oh, we need right. is a media outcry. And as you pointed out at the beginning of the show, they're sitting there clapping like a bunch of seals every time this happens. But conservatives have to wake up and realize you cannot only rely on social media now. They hate you. They want you removed. If you rely only on social media as a conservative for your career, you're going to be wiped out. Soon your career won't be worth as much as the price of a WNBA ticket. It's gotten to the point where I am cheering on Snoop Dogg, whoever that is, <laughs> who's defending Louis Farrakhan, who I, I've never even considered defending Louis Farrakhan. I'm not defending him now. I'm defending the First Amendment to the Bill of Rights. So, like, why is it only Snoop Dogg who's doing this? I am defending him, Tucker. Well, I mean, yes, yeah. Louis, Louis Farrakhan's a worthless scumbag. I'm not denying that, but he's somebody who should be allowed to speak. Of and course. we shouldn't be afraid of hearing him speak. Why would we be afraid for somebody right. we don't like to speak? He can compare his ideas with my ideas and let the best man win. And it's not as if he's inciting some massive movement now. He's not politically relevant. Louis Farrakhan's political views are worth as much as his favorite kosher foods cookbook. <laughs> You just asked the deep, the deep question that underlies all of this, which is, why are they afraid? Why, why are they afraid to hear views that they disagree with? What do you think the answer is? Well, but that, because that's what totalitarians do, Tucker. And let's not, let's not act like the left in today's America is Pol Pot or something like that. But the history of the left, the history of every form of the left involves censorship. And in America, right. that means shutting down people so their voices can't be heard. And in the most extreme cases in history, it means kicking down your door in the middle of the night and hauling you off to a political prison so you can't speak anymore. They, they need us to not speak. But we don't have a great solution either, Tucker. The government can't step in. You saw Dianne Feinstein a couple days ago. Do you want that person in charge of Facebook? I'm pretty sure she died no, three times during no. that hearing. But, but I would like Facebook uh, to be stripped of the protections that the U.S. Congress granted it, immunity from lawsuits on, on the promise that it was a platform, not a news organization. Here they are editing content. I don't know why they have that. I don't have that exemption. If I libel you on this show, you can sue me, you can sue Fox News. You can't sue Facebook because they have a special exemption. Why do they have that? They have that because they have a bunch of money to lobby Congress, and you're right, that is the one thing. Well, it's the truth, and it's the one thing they absolutely should change. It's what they're scared of. They are, they are publishers. They're not platforms anymore. They're exactly. trying to remove voices and call everybody a Nazi. Well, that shouldn't be allowed, and somebody with some guts should step up in Congress. Amen. I hope so. Well, Jesse, thank you very much. Good to talk to you tonight. Be good, brother.